should a girl give guy dowry? Okay, whether she's Muslim or not. No, she should not. If she is Muslim, there's no place in Islam for doing this. This is just a cultural thing. It's a really messed up thing, which has ruined many people's lives, which has really, you know, brought about the inner greed of many people who are already greedy and they've destroyed so many girls' lives. So many girls have been driven to suicide. Now, in my previous video, I explained how, that no girls should be forced into giving dowry. OK, um, no one's allowed to force. But this video will give you some scenarios, OK, or one scenario, depending on the time I have, of when in-laws do not force a girl because they know that, OK, if we force her, then she's not going to marry our son. OK, or, or the guy thinks this as well. So when they can't force, what they do is um, they say things like, oh, they get their son to say things like. And, I, and I've seen this happen. OK, so I'm giving real life, real life examples here. So the son is like, so he's realized that the girl's you know, parents have not given them any furniture or anything like that. And then he starts saying um, in the last few days before the nikah, oh, you know, um, my parents are going to sleep on the floor um, because obviously, you know, we won't have a bed, so they're going to give us their bed and they're going to sleep on the floor. And the fact that whether he says it once or he keeps repeating it, OK, um, if, if the girl's a caring girl, OK, and she's pure of heart, she's going to be like, hang on, I'm, I don't want your parents to sleep on the floor. We'll sleep on the floor. And, you know, I'm, I'm talking about British cases here as well. Like the examples I'm giving are British girls. A lot of a lot of us, OK, we may be sour, OK, but we're very upfront. When we, we don't have those two faces, you know, we're very upfront. Um, and I, I guess that's what people don't like or, or they do like, depending on the situation, you know, when it when it's in their favor, um, then they like it uh, when it's not in their favor. And we speak the truth and they don't like it. Um, so the guy will be like, oh, our parents are going to sleep. And he keeps ramming it in just before the nikah. And then the girl gets worried. And, you know, then she speaks to the in-laws and they're like, oh, no, no, we'll, we're going to we'll sleep on the floor. It's OK. We'll sleep on the living room floor. Literally, you know, as soon as you'd come out your room, that that'd be the TV room, okay. Um, and then she speaks to her parents, and her parents get worried. They're like, "Oh my gosh, you don't have a bed there, you know." So we'll pay for the bed, um, and then her parents end up paying for the bed. Okay, this is how sly in-laws. I'm not saying all of them are sly. I'm talking about the sly ones, okay, the ones that have this inner greed in them. This is how they manipulate, okay, the girl. So they don't have to force her, but they indirectly force her by giving her and her parents no choice. And then it's the same furniture when when things don't go their way. Right. Um, it's the same furniture that they sit on and they humiliate the girl's family. So put an end to Jahir's, put an end to dowry, whether you're Muslim or not. Stop it because it's just causing the oppression of so many.